Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of trailer explanation. In this video, we are going to cover unit add screen to your flow from the module flow builder. This is the third unit of this module in the first two units. This that was basically the quiz based unit. So you can do that on your own. Here we are going to cover up from the third unit. So what basically we are going to do in this uh, units challenge will be we are going to create a screen flow where we will be adding some of the input components on the screen element. And uh, nothing much of the functionality has been mentioned in this challenge. So we need to just put out the components on the screen. So without wasting any time, let's quickly launch our trailer playground, which I've already done. And if you'll go to this, click on setup, and this will land you on the home setup page, where in the quick find, you have to type flow, and this will open up the list of all the flows that is present in your org. Now, moving on, we have to create a new flow. Simply click on new. Then the type of the flow will be screen flow. Just select this one and click on create. So this will open up the flow builder with the basic structure over here. Now, the next thing that we have to do is we have to create our very first resource, which will be of type variable and the API name will be account name. So I'm going to copy this API name and going back to my flow builder, just select this uh, far corner left. You will find that there is this toggle toolbox. Just select this, click on new resource. And from the re resource type drop down, just select variable. Here, the API name, I'm simply going to paste this. Data type has to be text. As it is mentioned over here that it has to be text. Nothing much we have to uh, change over here. Just click on done and this will create the first resource for us. Moving on, the next thing, uh, next resource that we have to create will be of record choice set. The API name will be accounts. So I'm going to copy this. Let's go back to a flow builder again, click on new resource and the resource type. If you'll scroll a little bit, there is a record choice set. So select this one API name. I'm going to paste this over here. Object again will be account. So select this uh, from the drop down. Here, uh, condition, I'm not going to apply any. So just select none, uh, get all the account records. So we are fetching all the records. Here, choice label will be name, account name. Data type has to be text and choice value will be account ID. So what basically it does is, so the uh, so this is basically we are creating a pick list type of resource. So the uh, values or the uh, labels that will be presented to the end user will be the name of the accounts. And in the back end, the value it will contain will be of ID. Each account that you will select from the drop down will contain the uh, ID as value. So this is uh, simply just we are assigning here label and the value behind those label. Now moving on, once you select, uh, so here if you see when the user, when the flow user select the choice in the screen, the drop down which we are creating, if you select one account from it, the choice in a screen, these field values are assigned to the selected variables. So here the uh, uh, field values will be assigned to the variables that we are creating in this flow. So what value that we have to assign to any variable is if you will notice over here that it is mentioned that name has to be assigned to this uh, variable account name. What is account name? Account name was the variable which we had created just few minutes back. If you will see in the back end that there is this account name. So what we have to do is simply we will be assigning name to this variable account name. So whatever we are going to select uh, from this pick list or the drop down, whichever account we are going to select, that name will be stored in this account name variable, which in the further units of this module, we are going to use it. So we are just storing that account name in a separate variable that we are selecting from the drop down. That's it, just click on done and our second resource has also been created. Now next is we have to add a screen on our flow that is by the label opti screen. So I will copy this API and the label, basically label I'm copying. Go to this plus sign and from here just select screen. Label I'm going to put out over here. API name will be auto populated, and this is the uh, these are the properties that we are giving for the screen element. Now moving on, we have to add certain components. One will be of text, another date, then pick list. Uh, three components we are going to 
add into this screen. So the first component will be of text and the label will be opti identifier. So I will just copy this, go to your flow builder. And from your left hand side, there is this search component uh, search bar, just type text over there and just uh, select and drag and drop it on the screen element. So this has uh, taken uh, just uh, placed one text component over here. You have to uh, give out the label for this one as well. So I will just paste the one which I copied from the challenge. API name will be auto-populated. Now the second component that we have to put on, on the screen element is of date type. So I will just copy this uh, close date label again. And again, I'll do the same with the date component as well. Search for date and drag and drop it on the screen element. So here it is our date element, uh, date component. And the label, I'm simply going to paste it on the label text area. API name will be auto-populated. Now next is pick list component. Again, I will copy this label from here and API name will be auto, is going to be auto-populated. Data type, we have to keep it text. And the choice, uh, we are going to use one variable which we created a few minutes back by the name accounts. So let's go back to our flow builder. First of all, let's add pick list over here, drag and drop it on the uh, screen element. Now label, I'm going to just paste the one which I copied from the challenge API name will be auto-populated. Data type is automatically text assigned. Now, if you scroll down a little bit under configure choices section, there is this cho choice option coming up over here. So if you select this, uh, we have to select this accounts variable, which we just created a few minutes back. So select this and it will dynamically assign whichever account we will be selecting from the pick list to this uh, this uh, field or the uh, component that we are placing over here. That's it. We have uh, nothing much to do over here. Now just copy the label of the flow and go back to your flow builder. Just click on done. Click on save and give out the flow label, which we copied from the challenge. API name will be auto-populated. Click on save and our flow is good to go. Now, if you want to debug it, so just click on debug and it will ask us whether we want to run this flow or not. So simply I'm going to run this, so click on this run flow. Now here in the Opti identifier, suppose I'm giving out here, uh, say, textile. And in the close date, I'm selecting, let's say 30th of November account. So here you can see all the list of account, all the accounts uh, that are there present in my org are coming up over here as a drop down or in the form of pick list. Here's let's say I'm selecting pyramid construction Inc. And that is here it is assigned. Once I click on finish, you will find that on the right hand side, there are debug details. If I just go through this once, uh, so here you can see the text box opti identifier, label is opti identifier and the value at runtime which I provided was textile. Close date, which uh, the value at the runtime was 30th November, which I selected. From the drop dropdown, uh, uh, which had label account, the choice I selected at the runtime was pyramid construction, uh, which, is, which was stored in the accounts variable. And the choice value, if you will, if you remember that when I was creating the accounts resource, I specified over there that in the label, we will, we will be seeing the account name, but in the back end, the value will be account ID. So here you go, the ID, this is the same ID of the pyramid construction and the stored value. Uh, so the stored values in account name, we were storing the name of the account, which we will select from the uh, drop down. So pyramid construction has been assigned to account name variable. That's it we have to do in this unit. So this was the simple uh, debug details I explained uh, in the most simplest language. Hope you were able to get it. Let's go back to our challenge and click on check challenge button. Uh, hopefully we should be able to pass all the requirements uh, required for this challenge in order to pass it. Let's just wait. Uh, hopefully we should be able to pass. There you go. This unit is completed. See you in the next video with another unit or module. Till then, take care. Thank you.